ain't got to talk about this fight this week. I've been looking at film, but I ain't been able to consistently look at film like I wanted to do. This video was supposed to go up last night, but it didn't. Uh, so let's talk about Joette Gonzalez and Shakur Stevenson. Fighters tonight, I believe it's on the ESPN Plus app. Um, appreciate everybody for tapping in. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. I won't miss another video. Riding through the deep. Gonna take a ride with me. I'm fucking with y'all niggas, man. But uh, yeah, let's talk about it, man. I looked at, I've been looking at Joette Gonzalez tape for a minute. Um, but I never really got to sit down and watch his fights. Like, like I really wanted to get in detail with it. So that's why I ain't really been talking about the fight. Uh, me and a, a guy that's at the fight, I'll just leave his name anonymous, was talking about it yesterday, and he was like, did I see the ESPN special they did about Joette and Stevenson and the backstory about the sister? Now, there's some people out here saying this ain't real, this built, this fake, this fake beef. No, this totally real. And I got an opinion on it, man. If y'all follow me on Twitter, the link in the description, y'all know my opinion on it, but I'm going to cook on it a little bit more. But as far as, as, far as the fight, uh, Gonzalez, he got a, he had a, he got a two-inch reach advantage, I believe. 70 to secure Stevenson, 68. Stevenson, a couple inches taller. And, um, the reason I, I just really getting getting de detailed with his film is I was busy, but I don't see nothing special about Joe Gonzalez. I seen him beat up Tank and amateurs, but I don't see nothing special about him. You know what I'm saying? I don't see a big puncher, but I do see a guy that got heart, that got the the mentality, you know, and maybe even got the style to a certain extent to defeat Shakur Stevenson. And obviously, he got the uh, the motivation to do so over the sister, but. Um, uh, he just don't have no, he ain't really talented like that. And you know he not talented, especially when Golden Boy is thirsty looking for stars and they not pushing him. Like he not like Kofi trend on the Canelo cards or or he not getting his own cards or nothing like this. And this dude 26 years old, he fairly young. But you, I didn't even know he existed until the Shakir Stevenson thing came up. You know what I'm saying? And when Golden Boy not pushing the Hispanic fighter, they treating him like he a black fighter. They treating him like he a uh, 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 old boy brother. That's at uh, here, uh, Rashidi Ellis. He treating him like like a bottom like a bottom feeder. You know what I'm saying? They not even showing him no respect. You know they doing pushing you know Ryan Garcia. He may even be able to beat Ryan Garcia because he got that. To, he seemed like he got that dog in him. But Ryan is more talented uh, physically. But I just don't think Ryan is is really a boxer. He a celebrity boxer. You know what I'm saying? But uh, they not pushing him at all. You know what I'm saying? They not, they not even pushing him a little bit. You know, so, you know, for them to send him over there, they basically playing with house money. You know, he said he want to buy his parents a house, but it's like a little breakdown and a little, you know, synopsis or something like that about what's going on. But uh, I don't see nothing special about him, really. He not fast. He seen, you know, seemed to be a pressure fighter. Seem to obviously have a good amateur background, beating Javante a couple of times in the amateurs. Um, you know, not the fastest guy out there, but he brings some pressure. You know, he try to bring some pressure, but he gonna need to fight like a. He gonna need Mexican style tonight. He gonna need to be able to close the distance on Stevenson. Uh, he gonna need to be like Salido. And like people criticize Salido and say, "Oh, Loma lost to Salido with 14 losses." Um, Toledo was a, a good fighter. Remember, he beat Robert Guerrero, but he got uh, he failed a drug test or something. But he beat Robert Guerrero down there at the weight class. He got changed to a no contest, whatever the hell they did. And, you know, he beat Juan Juan Lopez when he was undefeated and went to Puerto Rico and stopped him. People forget how good of a fighter Toledo was. You know what I'm saying? You know, Jorge uh, uh, Matador, whatever it is from UFC, he got 11 losses. And he might be in one of the most badass fights in UFC history. The amount of losses don't matter. You know, if you up there beating elite competition, which Salido did beat elite competition, and he beat Lomachenko, like it or not, you know, you got you to gotta give him his credit, and you got to respect that. You know, you got to respect him. And I say that because Joet going to need to fight like him. You know what I'm saying? He going to need to fight like him. He going to need to close that distance. He going to need to, you know, pressure Stevenson because if he – if he try to outbox Stevenson or try to sit in the pocket with Stevenson or try to fight from the outside, he gonna get just he gonna get outclassed. He gonna get outclassed. He need to be in Stevenson's head, talking to him, and dragging Stevenson into a street fight. That's the only way he gonna win. 
Now, he like 20-something old with 14 knockouts, but I really don't see him being that big of a puncher. He got that Mexican style where he come with those awkward little hook hybrid overhands. And, you know, um, but talent-wise, speed-wise, you know, head defense, footwork, uh, boxing ability, you know, and IQ, we'll see. He, I mean, really, this is this is a this is a crossroad. This is a crossroad prospect fight, to be honest. You know, only reason you know Joette is fighting for the belt, and, Steve, you know, and, and Stevenson not fighting somebody else because they was all scared to fight Stevenson. You know what I'm saying? And I was just looking at some of Joette's film. Like I said, I didn't do the most thorough homework because his fights just was boring as hell, um, and I ain't had time to be wasted. Nobody got time to be wasted when you're older. Um, just not a good fighter. I mean, just not an impressive fighter to me. He wanted to be all heart, all guts, all nuts to get the glory uh, tonight. And, 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 and that's just what it boiled down to. Because he can't outbox this kid, Stevenson. And I believe he does know that he can't outbox him. They need to fight this guy. If he let Stevenson get in the rhythm, Stevenson just going to sharpshoot. He just going to sharpshoot. You know, Southpaw versus or Orthodox. He just going to sharpshoot, sharpshoot. Go keep him on the end of punches. Use the ring. He's going to need to bring, bring pressure. Stevenson just need to box. And when, you know, uh, Joette get, get inside, hold him. Hold that motherfucker. And, and work him out. But I hope he stop Joette because they racist. And let me get to that point. They racist. You know what I'm saying? They hella racist. You know, oh, I don't like my sister. I just... I don't like my sister dating him. He loud and obnoxious in the amateurs. And, uh, you know, his dad said, I just want my family back more than the world title and, and this and that. They don't want they don't want her dating a black dude. That's just what it boiled down to. And what be so what's so funny about it is, what's so funny about it is this, man. And and I, I, don't, I don't even want to talk about it. But, you know, the Mexicans in America, you know, the Mexicans over in Mexico, right? And, and shout out to all my Mexican people that listen to me. This don't apply to them. But some of them people over there, they cry bigotry from Trump, but they hate black people. That'd be my thing about it. You can't, like, you be, to be real, black people should really hate basically a lot of different ethnic groups. I won't say all of them, a lot of them. They should, you know, they really should. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know, we we've been uh, 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 it's been embedded in us to forget and forgive, right? But you can't cry bigotry, you can't cry racist when you talk about Trump and, and white Americans and nationalists, whatever you want to call. And then you turn around and have bigotry towards somebody else, towards, towards another ethnic group, maybe black, maybe Puerto Rican, maybe you know uh, Africans, Ghana, Ghana, whoever, Zimbabwe, or maybe just you know whoever. You, you can't you can't do that. And the point blank period is they don't like Shakira because he's black. You know what I'm saying? They don't want their sister dating a black guy. And I live in Metro Detroit area. I live in the Detroit area, and it's and it has the highest populated Arab community, um, or Arab city ever in Dearborn. That's not too far. And you know, a lot of times, you know, the Arab women they you know they date outside. They, they they can they race, you know what I'm saying? They got to hide it. They got to hide it. Or their family disowns them. So at the end of the day, you can't pick and choose who you want to be with. And that's kind of how they treating Joette Gonzalez's sister now. Um, her and Shakira met in the, in the amateurs and stuff of that nature. And he said that he had never loved nobody before. And and, and they've been together for four years and said that um, that um, they she just understands him. He could talk about anything. And it seemed real, real sincere. And they said, well, you know, he was loud and obnoxious in the amateurs and, and this and that. Well, she liked that. At the end of the day, she could have brought home a lot of worse dudes that ain't that's doing a lot worse than him. Weed smoker, and I know people, and a lot of people don't like, a lot of people in the black boxing community don't like Shakira Stevenson. Let me say that too. You know, they point to his situation in Miami. Shit happened. I ain't proud of a lot of shit I've done, but at the end of the day, I move on from it. People, it's funny how people want to use that incident and say, well, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, Shakira is just a hooked up person and like, you ain't never made no mistake, bro. You ain't never did some shit you ain't proud of. People kill me 
uh, acting like they they background is hella clean, like ain't nothing been expunged off of it, or they ain't trying to wipe some shit away. Dude was a 21 year old kid, dude. I know a lot of people that did a lot worse than that. You know, and people want to act like, oh, you know, you know, he he he, because he went top rank. That's what it boiled down to. We in an era of boxing and boxing. You know what I'm saying? We in an era where, oh, I not I don't like a fighter because he with them with them and with that with them. You know, or he with his own. Or look here, man, they just start getting behind Devin Haney again because of the whole Lomachenko thing. Them dudes was mad when Devin Haney signed to the zone. Didn't ask why Showtime or PBC didn't come with that real deal. They was mad as hell when, when Devin Haney went to the zone. You know? They was hella mad. Hella mad. All of a sudden, Devin Lomachenko started ducking him. Now, he black Jesus and all that. But with Shakira, then it was the whole thing about the Vida test. He did Vida now. Now, what's the, what's the problem? People don't like him because he with top rank. So what if Floyd was with top rank? I said the Loyal was with top rank at one point in time. Muhammad Ali was the first fighter with top rank. He brought Bob Arum into boxing. So do you niggas hate Ali? And people be first to tell me, oh, you can't be tearing down our black fighters. We got to support them. But y'all be tearing down Terrence Crawford. Y'all be tearing down Shakira because who they with? Don't, don't preach that bullshit to me, okay? I have never claimed to be a pro-black champ. <laughs> Please, I keep the same energy for everybody else out there. I don't just pick the fighter because he black. <laughs> you know, but I think Shakira Stevenson going to win. Uh, I think he going to win a unanimous decision. I think Joe Gonzalez, he got too much pride and too much dog to get knocked out uh, tonight, man. But I got Shakira, unanimous decision. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Which I know I'm about, you know, a comfortable wide decision, man. Uh, Gonzalez. If he beat uh, Secure, it's gonna be by good punch or lucky punch, or it's gonna it's gonna be he just dog him out, he bang him out his friend, and just it's gonna be all heart. But Secure seemed to have an edge to him, where um, he got a lot of heart, he got a lot of balls too. So this could be a nice little class. You got a lot of fights on today. You got a uh, Secure Joette late fight. You got Lubin. Gallimore and Reed in Pennsylvania. That's a later fight. And then earlier to, to tomorrow, you got, uh, Re today you got Regis and Josh Tedder, which I believe, um, they've really made David Price, Dillian White, the main event, I believe. So that's terrible. But hey, I do appreciate the love support. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Uh, want we'll make a donation. That link's in the description. One time for the one time. Uh, Goodfellow Sports TV. We gone.